when the the blue gauge fills up you just press the X button to launch them up they get hurt seriously and then X and A to do a finishing move he looks uh, considerably tougher old Nintendo gamer and son Hello and welcome to the demo of Krei Makina, as uh, the Japanese voiceover has just suggested this game is. It is the demo, though, however, of NIS America's newest action RPG to be hit in the Switch eShop on the 27th of October. Uh, it is a, a plethora of NIS America. I'm going to press button while I'm talking here and go into the options. Plethora of NAS America uh, JRPG action RPGs on the Switch. She's tuning there. Sound settings will be okay. Camera. As always, I need to invert the vertical camera. I confirm. Thank you very much. Oh, camera speed actually as well. Uh, I need a snappier camera. Uh, manage settings, we're okay with that. Other speeds, other settings. Brightness, always change the brightness. Uh, please adjust the silhouette, it's faintly visible. There, it is faintly visible. Confirm that and go back and into the game, which is the new world. I don't want to look at the... It's so quiet, so dark and peaceful. I'm not going to be doing funny voices with this. But, um, constructing world. One thing to point out is that this will set you back 53 pounds and 99 pence on the European or the UK switch eShop so it's probably roughly about 55 to 60 US dollars stupid life stupid society stupid parents stupid world stupid 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 it's all so stupid still but it hurts to admit I want to live Eben, you have been chosen is this the afterlife no it isn't you're awake, Leban. Good girl. Welcome to the surface of Eden. You're so instruct. This is reality 2,000 years after your death. An angel. Only a machine. I am Inoa. Your mind and physique have been reproduced by programming and hardware, resurrecting you. Now live, Leban. As a human. For us. There's a nice anime feel to what I'm seeing so far. However, just like other NAS America games, it does feel a little underwhelming. What's wrong? I was just thinking you're such a cute angel, Kawaii. I'm a machine, not an angel. And this body? Huh, I'm a bona fide robot. Huh, a robot and a beautiful angel in a sci-fi world. Even for a deathbed fever dream. It's weird. Your confusion is to be expected, but this is all real. There's no time for an explanation right now, though. There never is. I'd explain things as I go along, won't you? If you want to live, then follow my orders, Leban. Okay. Anything you say, Miss Angel. I'm not an angel. My name is Inoa. Now proceed down the path. I'll send you data on how to operate your new body. Yay, we get a move, do we? Let's go. Uh, 
Oh, it's a very snappy camera. Quite like that. All right. Uh, as I would imagine from an NIS America action RPG game, the movement is fast fluid, maybe a little bit too fast. You try and stop on a particular spot, you're not going to be able to, but I don't think that is the purpose of this type of game. Um, can I drop off edges? You cannot drop off edges. B button is jump. Oh, A button looks like a block or parry move. Uh, why? Right, why, 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 why? That is your attack button. There's an L and R button there, which is flashing. L and R. Oh, right, each one has got missiles on each of my respective shoulders. Very nice. Um, and that is all the buttons. Oh, X. Oh, X is an up but cut kind of thing right okay can I double jump no I can't double jump a B B is just jump examine Ex interact Mama. I'm interacting with what mommy where are you I miss you mommy hey uh, what the heck is this a fragment of personality data this place used to be a data center for operating simulated worlds. Some of the storage seems to have survived the raid with minimal damage. Simulated worlds? And you call this minimal damage? I'll explain when we get to our destination. Will you? Or will you hold things from me? Ooh, another one, right. I, I can't smell. I can't move. No! This has to be a lie, there's no way I could get centrifugal syndrome. I couldn't believe it at first either. Centrifugal syndrome. No need to fear, Levin. Centrifugal syndrome no longer exists. I mean, I don't think I have to worry about diseases ever again now that I'm a machine. Ah, there's always... Oh. How far can you jump? Can I make that in a single bound? Ooh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Surely I can make that in a single bound. Nope. Maybe a bit too far, eh? Oh, nearly. Sure I can. Can't be bothered to try again. Liz, I'm begging you. Let me on the spaceship. I need to get out of here. These are real voices, aren't they? Not simulated at all. Spaceship? It's only personality data from the end of human history. Don't let it concern you. <laughs> the end of human history. Don't let it concern you, human. Oh God, why have you forsaken us? Uh, you never had proof there was a God. You just made it up and said there was one. Never offered any other proof because there is no God. There are Lebanon knows the answers. God too is a human creation. Uh, yeah, about 20,000 years ago. Therefore, a man himself is God. <laughs> what bliss! The universe is so beautiful! Both the universe and humans are stupid. You were human. You're wrong. Humans are wonderful and precious beings. Well, I think you're the one who's wonderful, you know. You being a machine and all. And she loves her machines. Um, but he, some humans are stupid. Actually, a lot of humans are stupid. Myself at times. Believing things without proofs. Uh, is this the place? Yes, good job. Now I can upload your data. I'll take a while longer to synchronize with the imitation garden, though. Imitation. It's all... A, it's all... A, a computer program, isn't it? A cherub. Hey, you know, uh, they don't seem like they come in peace. Is that just me? Not at all. This is indeed life-threatening. Good girl, Levin. You're quite perceptive. For real? I only played along because you said to follow your orders if I wanted to live. My calculations failed to account for this. I apologize for the de being defective. 
It's okay. I know you didn't mean anything bad by it. Machines aren't conniving like humans. Arigato. You're very kind, Levin. I don't know about that. This is a code red. I will transfer basic combat system data to you. Return fire. Return fire? That sounds like some from Star Wars. Press Y to perform a melee attack. Uh, lock on with R. Right, okay. Uh, lock off with... I don't want to lock on, actually. Eradicate enemy cherub. Launch. Oh, he's dead already. He's dead before I could launch him. X was launched, by the way, there. Good girl. I'm impressed you were able to beat them. Them? Them? There was only one. Now there's them. Oh, don't tell me these things respawn. I'll transfer additional combat systems. Hang in there a little longer. She'll be here soon. She? There's a lot of questions I have here, unanswered, right? Uh, attack to fill the blue gauge at the enemy's center. Ah, oh, yeah, there it is, and then press X to launch them. All right, okay, and then X A to down. When they're down, you can finish them. Right, that is pretty into it. I did it. Somehow. That was amazing, Levin. Especially for your first time. I can see why you're the chosen one. A gold star for you. I don't want gold stars. Unless they level me up somehow. Oh, is this gonna go on forever? Obviously some combat training I need. Press X and A against a downed. Yeah, okay. So you do that. I've done this already, but X and A on a finishing assault. Bosh. Right, that is pretty straightforward. It says Y, 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 attack. When the, the blue gauge fills up, you just press the X button to launch them up. They get hurt seriously, and then X and A to do a finishing move. He looks uh, considerably tougher. Ecclesia, the second deus ex machina. Just what is he doing here? Yes, exactly. Ecclesia, go bother someone else. Could you tell me what's going on, maybe? Oh. To compare, you are a tiny little bug, while your opponent is an elephant. So I'm totally going to get squashed. Uh, and here comes the hero, Mikoto Sengiko. Mikoto, you are safe for now, but... Uh, things aren't looking too hot, huh? I'll handle Ecclesia till you're finished syncing up with the imitation garden. Thank you. I'll switch my combat support over to you then. Gotcha. Let's make it home alive. Of course, I didn't come here to get done in. <laughs> I dare you to try. Go ahead, make my day, punk. I've been watching Dirty Harry movies. Alright then, what are we doing? Evade? Oh, it was a bit late then. Oh, it was a bit late then as well. So I'm going to dodge using the L and ZR. Right, move and dodge. Ah, too late. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yay. Come on, let's try that again, boy. That is not easy. Did I do it? No. Got hit by that one. Ah, oh, too early. Fend off. Use awakening skills. I use the blah blah blah. Right. Oh, awaken and then press down on the thing. Right. What does this do? While awakened, you can automatically evade as long as you are. Oh, nice. Automatically evade as long as I'm not attacking. 
Oh yeah, automatic evasion, man. Don't attack. Automatic evasion, he can't do me damage. Awakening is something special, huh? Let's see, no. No, I still took damage. How odd. This is nothing compared to what Ecclesia is capable of. It's as though he's conserving his strength. And he's still this tough. I guess the second lives up to the hype. This is going to be my kind of fight. Hmm? Whales? There's a lot of uh, loading in textures and stuff. Uh, just, just ever so slightly for a second or so. It's the sixth Deus Ex Magna Logos Niskin. Zoe's the seventh. By Deus Ex Magna, you mean more of those final boss looking things? Correct. A group of enemy forces has detected us. A boss rush already. What a crappy game. Breaking the fourth wall? Uh, it's alright, I don't think we have to fight them. Why is that? I don't know why, but Ecclesia seems to have shifted his hostility to the new arrivals. <laughs> you they must be shaking in the boots by now. But hey, anyone would after getting ambushed by Eden's number one powerhouse. The guy is like a phantom. You just fought him, Mikoto. Fingers crossed we stay off his radar. The preparations for Levin's uploads are complete. It's all thanks to you, Mikoto. Now, let's return to the imitation garden before this place burns to the ground. Yeah, I, Amy's in the mood it isn't going to get any better if we get her. What a caring friend you are, Mikoto. Good girl, with that I'll begin the transfer. Who's Ami? Am I melting? Don't worry, Levin. We're simply moving elsewhere. I'm sure you got a boatload of questions right now, but first things first. Happy birthday, Levin. Congratulations on your second life. A gold star for you. I got two gold stars. I've been a good student. Ooh. That was the opening introduction to Cry Machina. Let's see how far this animation takes us. Uh, so far, exactly what I anticipated from an NAS America action RPG. I think the asking price is scandalously high, but uh, it is a niche, niche product that people will want to pick up at that price. Um, I should imagine will be on sale in a year's time. I'd be happy if the game looked like the entire anime all the way through. They did like a cell shaded thing instead of what we're actually playing. Cry Machina. Right then, what's happening now? Oh, another rather expensive animated cutscene. Is this Ami?
Oh, we made it. Oh, Mikoto's got glasses on now. Oh, welcome back. You were taking so long that I began to worry. I'm sorry for making you anxious. Uh, it's nothing to grovel about. We got here in one piece. And with the chosen one, we've been desperate for. At that. Ah, quite right. I was so anxious as concerned. It wasn't so much anxious as concerned you might do something reckless. After all, Mikoto would never break a promise to me. I was absolutely sure she'd come back. Well, uh, don't pr don't make promises that you can't keep. It's the absolutely part that scares me. Yep. <laughs> Good girls, you always get along so well. Hey. Not to interrupt your little reunion, but would someone mind getting me up to speed here? Oh, my apologies. I am Ami Shito. Ami, it is Ami. Uh, it's lovely to meet you. Are you still in high school, Levin? No, I'm dead. Um, nice to meet you too, and yeah, I was a second year, I think. Mikoto and I are third years, so that makes you just a tad younger. We're so happy you could join us. It's an honor to be here, wherever here is. There's no need to be so polite. I was just trying to match you. Uh, anyway, I'm Mikoto Singiku. Glad to meet you. And that uh, does it for the introductions. You're all caught up now. No, uh, absolutely not caught up. Hold on. Your names weren't the part I wanted catching up with. I mean, I thought I was dead, and suddenly I'm in a mechanical body battling some robot thing. Where even is this place? Why am I getting dragged into all this mess? Where even is this place? Where is this place? There's no even. And wait a second, why the heck did my body go back to normal? I was told to get an explanation later. Well, it's later now and I'm about a freak. Uh, to be fair, you've already kind of lost it. Yeah, then, then spit it out. You want worse? I'm sorry for making you mad. I'll try to explain. Oh, no, I'm not mad at you, Anoa. Now, to start... Make it quick, okay? Six months after you died, 2,000 years ago, humanity went extinct as a result of war. Can you slow down a bit? I've already got questions. What do you mean we went extinct from war? Wasn't it because of centrifugal syndrome? Now, the disease did wipe out more than 20% of the population due to causing widespread systemic sclerosis with a 100% fatality rate and no known cause. And, um... People didn't take the vaccine. But the direct reason for human extinction was a world war instigated by resource scarcity. I knew it. Humans are stupid. Near the end of days, a group of humans launched a spaceship in hopes of preserving their species. That ship is Eden. Eden is equipped with eight Dea Ex Machina, self-evolving artificial life forms. For the past 2,000 years, they have continued to evolve while expanding Eden, all for humanity's resurrection. The large area we were in earlier is just one example of Eden's expansion, and... And the white monster and giant whale thing we saw back there, two of those Dea, Dea Ex Machina. Deus Ex Machina. And they want to kill us? Exactly. Good girl, you're so quick to understand. And just for your information, Inoa's a deus ex machina too. Ah, what? You're number eight. I'm the eighth deus ex machina, Inoa. But you look human, not at all like those other two. Each of our kind plays a unique role in Eden. Well, was, was number two, kill everything. 
The second maintains order, hence his strength. The sixth is in charge of civilization development, as well as managing infrastructure. And my jurisdiction is psyche reconstruction. As we each have different functions to suit our duties, our designs vary accordingly. I see. So what's my job? I used to operate virtual recreations of the past in order to reconstruct the psyches of humans who once existed. Incidentally, this imitation garden is also a miniature virtual world. That's why our clothes are back to the way they used to be. Cool, I guess. At any rate, after two millennia and a number of broken singularities, Mikoto, Ami, and you were born. As per personality data, we call Eve. Sorry, this is a little hard to follow. It's not really. To put it simply, we were souls of long-deceased humans brought to life by an incredible program. Not really a soul, it's more data collection. I think I'm starting to get it. Basically, it's like taking the average between the Matrix and the sixth day. And now I'm lost again. Back on topic, after giving it my all, I finally achieved my goal of reconstructing the human psyche. As a result, half of the factions attacked and we were decimated. Wait, what? Shortly before your birth, our overseer, the first deus ex machina, we're gonna go take down the propator, and we don't know why. Without the first, all semblance of order fell by the wayside. Ah, the first one's gone. Consequently, the deus ex machina, who are unwilling to recognize you as three, you three as humans, launched an assault. I was able to evacuate my data as well as Mikoto and Ami's, to the imitation garden. But a lot of storage was destroyed, and a great deal of personality data was lost. Our objective now is to survive and quell their rampage. For this, we need a real human recognized by Eden's system. A real human. A robot must obey the orders given to it by human beings. So says the one of the three laws of robotics. Yep. In other words, a human can stop the machines. But that also means none of us are actually recognized as one yet. In Eden, your level of humanity is expressed by a variable quantity known as XP. Hmm. EXP can uh, be obtained by defeating Cherub Cherubim and other Day Ex Machina. Good, we get some higher XP, we can become human. Then, when your EXP exceeds the ta 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 target value, the system will recognize you as a real human. As a real human, you would have absolute authority over the Day Ex Machina, allowing you to p pacify them. So I suppose Deus is the singular, Day is the plural. Alright, so the goal is to gain EXP until you're accepted as human, that part I get. But why me? How did I get involved? About 10 years ago, I received a message from the first, who was thought to be lost, um, so he's not lost. It was a request asking me to protect the chosen one, meaning you. The chosen one? I believe it refers to the one who will become a real human and bring balance to the force. That's why I kept searching and searching until I finally found your data. Together, we may be able to stop the mad day ex, day I ex machina and revive the human race. So please, lend me your aid, Leban. Uh, how should I put this? It's a lot to take in, and it's all pretty heavy. Ah, uh, he'll come to understand eventually. It's a lot like you and my, like you myself at first. I was a lot like. I couldn't process any of it. I thought I was being pranked for some mediocre television program. Maybe this is. How mean. She's not wrong, though. And why would I want to bring humanity back anyway? I hate people. 
Uh, you hate people? Why is that? Because they're annoying, selfish, lying creatures. I mean, yeah, maybe in the grand scheme of things, it's not like I'm all that big a fan of mankind either. But if a noble cause like humanity doesn't cut it, then you might as well find your own goal to work toward. When it comes to reasons to live or become human, you've got to put your own wants first. Selfish. My own wants? We're well, safe here in the imitation garden, so just take a breather and mull it over. If you ever need some advice, hit me up anytime. Okay, Mikoto. Right, can I walk around the imitation garden now before I say, all oh, right, uh huh? Uh, communication. In this menu, you can set out for Eden, enhance characters in various ways, as well as save and load. Note that character levels must be increased through the Eve tuning option. Switch to casual mode for a more pleasant experience. This can be done by options, blah, 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 casual mode, reduce enemy HP and all that. Photo mode is a photo mode as well. So you can take wonderful anime screenshots of your attacks. Oh, only in Eden. Uh, the imitation garden doesn't allow it. Right, so materials tab. In this menu, you can browse information on your characters and setting. Combat analysis in this menu, you can view achievements, records, and tips. And communication, the tea party. In this menu, you can enjoy conversations with the girls during tea parties and change character costumes. Uh, it's telling me that I should go into the tea party. Required. Humans should live in a cool way. How are you doing? Sort everything out yet? Not even a little. My memories are hazy to begin with. I barely even know who I am. You just remember that you like little blonde girls, huh? Huh? You make me sound like a predator. You're just extra nice to Inoue is all. I may hate people, but I love machines. They're pure and trustworthy. No, they're attacking us. So you have a fetish for robots. <laughs> what kind of sexual deviant do you take me for? All joking aside, your memories are probably only hazy because you just woke up. This drowsiness had better shake itself off soon then. What about you? Did you feel confused when you first came to? Nope, not one bit. I'm pretty adaptable at being a film buff means I'm used to ridiculous storylines. Even a gang fight escalating into a, uh, a Qigong wave that destroys a planet wouldn't make me flinch. Ridiculous movie plots aside, I envy your adaptability, Mikoto. No hesitation, no worries. I just plow on ahead with whatever decision I make. That's my way of life. Sorry about the background noise. It must be nice having a strong personality. Why do you want to become a real human anyway? This has gone on far too long. Because it'd be cool. What? Would, wouldn't it be? How exactly? Well, becoming a real human in this world would practically make me a god. Why? Then I'd be the center of the universe. There's no cooler way to live than that. Oh, but then you died 60 years later, am I right? Did I say strong personality? I should have said forceful. Right, that's the first of the tea parties. And family makes us human, apparently. Why do you want to become a real human, Ami? Hmm, let me think. I suppose it's because I want a family. What did you mean? You can't officially be a household if society doesn't recognize you, right? My dream is to have a family of my very own. And to spend a lovey-dovey honeymoon together with Mikoto. <laughs> I... Back up, honeymoon, lovey-dovey, don't tell me you two are... Yes, we do have that sort of relationship. Okay. Wow. No, we don't. What? Are you suggesting that you lied about seeing me as family? I mean, no, but... 
But... Ami, the way you say it makes it sound raunchier than it actually is. Familiar love is totally separate from making love. Uh, it might be just a matter of time. Hoi! She's up for it. By the way, Levin, you're a part of this family too from now on. Uh, sorry, but that's not really my thing. Uh, don't sweat it. It's not like there's a blood oath or anything. Yeah, I figured this wasn't a mafia family. <laughs> there's no need to be shy. I'm not being shy either. And what's your beef? I'm a moody loner, so don't expect me to get along with you right off the bat. You just think of me as a nuisance anyway. I'm thinking that already. No one's forcing you to be chummy. What? Family is whatever we call wherever you call home. Stick together and survive together. That's all we're asking. But there's no buts. You don't want to be family with us, Levin? Us is a Noah part of this too, even though she's a machine? Undeservingly, yes. What, you got a problem with a Noah being included? You shouldn't discriminate against her for being a machine. No, I'm just shocked that you guys see her as an equal, I mean. Why wouldn't we? She's cute as a button, after all. That's surprisingly nice of you. Yes, Mikoto and Ami are very good girls. Then, if it means getting to be with Inoa, I guess I don't mind joining the family. Jesus Christ, these tea parties. Far too much talking, right? And thrive together, survive together. So there's even more story, which I'm not gonna go through right now. I am. Characters new, archive new. There's a lot to this game, but that is over 30 minutes of an introduction to Cry Machina. If you're intrigued by this NIS America's new action RPG, you can pick it up on the Switch eShop from the 27th of October for £53.99. Thanks for watching this. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and give us a like if you've enjoyed our content. You can follow us on X, Facebook, Instagram, and Threads. We also have a private Discord server for some laid-back gaming chat, and if you're feeling generous, you can support us via coffee. All the relevant links are in the description below.